1979. Really? 1979. Who knows how long this has been sitting here. What's going on guys? Today on the table we have the Garrett Ace 300 metal detector. I wanted to get into metal detecting because times are crazy right now. The only thing that I can think to do is just to get outdoors and enjoy the outside outdoors and fresh air. So I wanted to get into metal detecting because to me personally it seems like a lot of fun and I was right on my assumption. I want to thank Optics Planet for sending this one out to give you guys a good look at it. We appreciate them doing that. If you're looking into this model or getting into metal detecting at all, I'm going to shorten this video for you guys. Just go ahead and pick it up. This thing is awesome and it is a blast and a lot of fun. Okay. The thrill of the hunt is real. Hey, look at that. Are you money? Um, something. Give me a... Uh... Give me that water bottle so we can rinse it off real quick. So let's go ahead and get started again. I'll have that affiliate link and in the description box down below with a coupon code if you're thinking about buying this one. Again, just go ahead and pick it up. Let's get right down to the business of it. I wanted to get into metal detecting, so I went ahead and contacted them. They sent this one over as basically a beginner's level, middle of the road metal detector. There are a few different ACE uh, Garrett Ace models out there in their series. There's all kinds of different metal detectors, but to me, being my first metal detector, this thing has been pretty easy to pick up and learn, and a lot of fun in doing so. I'll roll in some footage of me and my daughter out there just kind of digging some stuff up, and just to, again, it's been a great time because as soon as this little buzzer on here dings and lets you know that there's something underneath the detector there, it is an instant thrill of the hunt that just kicks in and you want to immediately get down there and dig up and find whatever it is that's making this little thing buzz down there. Ha! <laughs> More money? Go. Yeah, we got another penny. Pretty sure that's Penny, you can't really tell right now, but it looks like it's been there for a while. I have to get, get this one back to the house and wash it off to find out what it is. Not knowing what it is, with nothing but hope in our heart, we get down there hoping to strike it rich, and we find an aluminum can. <laughs> and that may, say, that may sound depressing, and let me tell you something, after doing and digging up so many of those aluminum cans, it is kind of depressing. However, we have come home with a pocket full of change, and that to me is kind of cool, with varying different dates and whatnot. We haven't really found anything really cool just yet, and that's simply because I don't have a lot of time under this one, which I plan on changing. We're going to be getting out this summer and having a blast with it. Taking it camping with us, we're going to take it on hikes and stuff like that and get a lot more information and data points to it. But again, this is just a preliminary, and the stuff that we found is just kind of crude coins, just kind of tools and stuff here and there, some bits of metal. But it's been a great time. It has a small learning curve to it, so I suggest that you don't stop with just this one video if you're looking into this model. It's not hard to learn it, it's just different and you're not when I wasn't used to it. Me personally, it was a little interesting picking it up. But Garrett has some pretty good informational videos on their products out there, so I suggest you head over to their channel, which I'll have linked down there, and you can take a look at some of their models and how-to videos. Very, very simple to learn it, but I suggest learning it first such as all things, check, check the owner's manual. This has quite a few different features on it and it is actually very easy and intuitive to learn once you get it. Um, obviously you have your power on button right here, you have your mode which allows you to select and eliminate and basically try to look for either coins, relics, uh, you can customize this, you look for jewelry or you can basically not discriminate against anything and whatever metal is underneath your detector there it will pick up. But you can see in rolling through some of those options in that mode setting right there, it will allow you to only search for those items. You can increase your sensitivity on here, so if you're, you're under a mineral rich soil uh, and you're getting a lot of dings, a lot of false readings, you can actually lower your sensitivity down to uh, get that to pinpoint a little better uh, what objects may be under the dirt. Um, it also has a discrimination in that you can actually highlight individual uh, spectrums of the frequency and you can basically eliminate those frequencies to basically, as it states, discriminate whatever you don't want to have to ding the buzzer because that can kind of get annoying. Whenever you're trying to locate something and you're getting buzzed all over the place for, say, iron or you know anything else that you may not want to be looking for. So if you're just looking for quarters, coins, or gold, or extremely precious metals worth something, 
um, you might want to discriminate against some of those, uh, the spectrum of that frequency right there. Easily enough, it allows you to do so, and you can remove that right back by switching them off. It has a depth finder on here, so that gives you a good idea as to how deep the object is that made your buzzer ding there. And on that note of the buzzer, uh, it has three different audibles in which that uh, will allow you to have an idea of what is underneath the, de the detector. Anything more of an iron or probably not worth so much is more of a very crude buzz. And I'll give you a little sample of what that sounds like. Here. You get to the mid-tone, it has more of like a beep to it. And that's kind of something that may be something worth. Uh, and then there's a very very distinct uh, ding that it gives you whenever it's something that's possibly worth uh, something more than just a piece of metal. And so that's kind of nice whenever you hear that different spectrum of that audible hitting. It kind of lets you know what may be underneath there. And then it has a pinpoint button, which I think is extremely helpful in that you can well, pinpoint exactly where the object is directly underneath your, uh, your little finder there. Just simply by holding that down once you get your audible beep. I'm going to scan it. So it's about right there, right? Mm -hmm. So, And then you can kind of move that forward and back and locate exactly where that uh, object is in the ground. Of course you have your battery indicator right there so it lets you know just how much it is and this is ran by four AA batteries which is nice because those are very common batteries. Let's take a quick look at what is included in the box. You can see of course you have the unit itself which requires some assembly which is not hard at all to do if you follow the directions. Also included are a set of headphones with a quarter inch jack that plugs right into the bottom the unit itself right there so you can't use your own personal headphones uh, you have to use these or headphones that have a quarter inch jack this thing put, gets put together easily by the push buttons on the side here allows you to slip that right into it lock it in which also remains adjustable if you need this thing shorter or longer to fit the person doing the scanning the cam locks on the stem here keep this thing sturdy and doesn't allow it to wobble at all so that's kind of a nice feature makes this thing feel real real sturdy and solid like a quality piece it comes with a 7x10 search coil on there that is interchangeable with their A series of coils and is stated to be waterproof, which I have not tested on the waterproof just yet simply because I haven't been around any creeks or any kind of rivers or anything like that to test it. <laughs> the manual that they include is actually extremely helpful in learning how to use this little uh, ACE 300 and also gives you tips on how to uh, metal detect in general. There are things that you should know about metal detecting such as a lot of beginner mistakes that people uh, make are in the swing of the metal detector itself. So again I suggest you go in if you're getting just getting into metal detecting go out there and check out a couple more videos and don't stop with just this one. As you can see this thing has been a lot of fun. Me and my daughter just running out there and you know just seeing what we can dig up and trying to <laughs> trying to put it all back together as best as we could too because you don't want to go digging in somebody's property or, you know, public property or anything and make it look like crap when you leave. So try to put them holes back together the same way you found them. So again, this was the Garrett Ace 300. I'm going to have to do a follow-up video on this one because, again, I don't have a lot of time under it. Uh, but again, I plan on changing that as the summer rolls on. We're going to be taking this out camping with us, hiking with us. And again, it being break, you can break this down and throw it into a duffel bag is very handy that you can just transport this pretty easily. So we're going to have a lot more time under this, going to follow it up, and I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you have any questions about this one, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're looking to purchase this one, again, it's down there in the description box with a coupon code. Give you a little percentage off your purchase over there at Optics Planet. I want to thank them for sending this one out to show you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If this video helped you out at all, go ahead and hit that like button down there and share it with your friends and help my channel to grow. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. What is that? What do you think, guys? That whole thing is metal.
It's like a bunch of melted metal is what it looks like. What do you guys think it is? Oh my god! We call them Boeing bombs. <laughs> yeah, this looks like a bunch of melted metal. Can we just put it back? Put it in your book bag. Put it in my <laughs> book bag? You ain't got, you're not the one that has to carry it. I don't know guys, let me know what you think it is in the comments section down below. I'm sure it has something to do with some kind of building process. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in this hole. Unless when you guys say it's some kind of space meteorite or something like that. Where she sits now. Until sometime later on. I am not putting that in my backpack. That is definitely the most interesting thing we've found so far. You say? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this puzzle back together. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Oh, that is not going to look like it's supposed to. <laughs> what hole? <laughs> That'll work. It'll go away once it rains. Well, that was fun for nothing. And cut.